Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal and today I'm back again with another prophetic dream. Uh, this dream is pretty brief, so let's jump right into it. All right, so like I said, the dream is very brief and it's about a local celebrity or artist here in Trinidad. He's known for his voice. He's known for his, his, his passion, his drive. He's known for his live streams. <laughs> He's loved by many. His name is Mr. Aaron Voice St. Louis. So what I saw about Mr. St. Louis is this. I saw that I came into my living room where the television was on and there Mr. Voice was on the TV and he was on um he was on stage and it seemed as though he was performing in some sort of concert. Um, the performance did seem very local, but that's not the best part. <laughs> the best part is Voice was on stage in a floral type suit. So the suit was mostly white, but there was also green, um, green leaves on it and maybe a, f a couple of flowers. What came out of his mouth surprised me because he was saying, repent. He was saying, repent. And he went off, right? He went off uh, into like preaching. So yeah, so when I saw it, I was shocked, number one, but I was also filled with joy because I was like, finally, someone in Trinidad, you know, and I was just so happy that God is basically raising him up to do this work for our country. And, you know, voice is very well known. He has a great following. So I was just really excited. I was excited and I was just filled with so much joy. Um, that I remember saying, you know, oh my gosh, you know how long I wanted to go to something like this in Trinidad. So I believe what it was is a revival concert. So yeah, so that's the dream. I remember exactly how I felt when I woke up. I, I felt, I felt as though my spirit was revived. I felt new joy. Actually, I felt new joy. And I felt new revival. I know, I know God is up to something. Basically, I believe that voice is chosen to do mighty works for the kingdom of God. Um, with prophecy, you can never tell when certain events are going to happen, especially if God has not revealed a timeline to you. So I don't know when this is going to happen, but I know that this is the calling on uh, voice life uh, right now. God is actually raising him up to walk in his purpose. And I believe he could be a singer, a gospel singer. He could be also a pastor and he could be maybe both, who knows, right? So I believe the calling is there upon his life. And this is confirmation uh, to voice. This is confirmation to voice personally that the Lord is calling you. So I've always been a fan of voice, right? I've always loved voice music. I've always loved his voice. So before I began prophesying, I, I always knew that there was something special about voice, um, especially when he sings his music. And if you were to ask anyone who is a fan of blues and who really enjoys his music, they'd be able to tell you the same thing. Just something about his music, it hits different. They'll never be able to tell you why exactly, why they think it's so special or so different. You know, it's just something about him, something about his voice. Well, let me tell you what it is. All right, let me tell you what it is. Mr. Aaron, voice St. Louis, is very anointed he is very anointed his voice is heavily anointed 
This is why anything that comes out of his mouth would sound different or special because of his anointing, the anointing that God has upon his life. Voice, the anointing that voice has is because God has poured his grace out upon him. So much so that he's soaking with the oil, the anointing oil, right? The, the oil is dripping off of him in the spirit. And if you've ever been around someone who is who is who is heavily anointed, who has the oil dripping off of them in the spirit, right? <clears throat> you would know what it feels like to be around those type of people. You never want to leave them. Their presence is heavenly, right? And especially, you know, like I said, God gives us God gives us different gifts, right? And the fact that voice has been given the gift of voice, he operates in that gift that God has given him, that that God has given him. And so that's how he captivates his people. That's how he wins the hearts of people. Because of the gift of God. God has, has given him that gift and placed the anointing upon him. Voice very well knows this fact. He knows this, hence his stage name, Voice. He knew this, he knew that this is his gift. So this is why he hits different, because of the power of the Holy Spirit, the, the, the grace of God and the anointing that he has on his life. So I leave you with this message. Mr. Iran, Voice St. Louis, your heavenly father needs you. Please heed the call of this message. I prophesy to you that you are heavily anointed simply because of the abundant grace the Lord has upon your life. Remember, remember who you are in Christ Jesus. Ask him to remind you of his love for you. Repent and return unto your first love, your heavenly father. I'm telling you, that time is running out. Your people need you. We need you to step into your kingdom purpose and fulfill the calling of which God has upon your life. Again, please heed this warning and take this message back to your heavenly father and he will confirm it for you in the name of Christ Jesus. As always, until next time, be the light in every darkness. Thank <laughs> you.